voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. What's up YouTube, this is Majestone06 here. This video is going to be about my TNA sacrifice review. This sacrifice was pretty good. Um, it started off with Mexican America versus Inking. Um, um, so like every like basically this whole match, Rosita and Sarita, they kept on interfering in this match was because it was kind of like stupid because Inking everybody knew was gonna win, but then um the those both of those girls kept on interfering. Uh, with Inking, uh, Shannon Moore and Jesse Neal. So, uh, like, um, I think Rosita, she, like, uh, pulled, I think, Jesse Neal's hair or something like that. And, um, Hernandez did his finisher, I think. Yeah, he did his finisher, and, um, he got the 1, 2, 3, and a Mexican America won. The, then, like, then the Jarrett's came out. And like you um ca like for like on Friday I think she Karen Jarrett posted that she had like a ankle injury or something like that, claiming that she won't be able to uh, wrestle at uh, sacrifice. But so then they kept on talking about it, and then and like she won't be able to um uh, wrestle. And then Mick Foley came out and uh, said that oh uh, what a fake. Um, and then all this, um, and the, they took, and the, he saw the x-rays too, and, um, uh, he, uh, Mick Foley found out it was just a fake, and all of you guys got, um, uh, fooled by Jeff, I mean, Cameron Jarrett, and it was, and the x-ray just, and the x-ray was, uh, some guy's, um, uh, like, foot, or ankle, I don't know what it was, and, um, it was the next match on TNA Stack Price. It was Bi Brian Kendrick or yeah he, um uh, versus Robbie E with Cookie. Um that match was kind of weird. Brian Kendrick's kind of wacko right now. I don't know what I think he got kicked too hard in his head and he's like wacko and they wanted to set this match up because of the X Division. They uh, Eric Bischoff hasn't been, um, like, doesn't, he doesn't give a crap about the X Division, but, man, the X Division is awesome. <laughs> it has really great superstars, it has really great high flyers, there is a really good division, man, this is a big, uh, big, for, I mean, um, Eric Bischoff doesn't care about it. Um, the next match, it was, um, Madison Rain versus... Mick, Mickey James, it was for the, um, for the TNA, uh, Knockouts Championship, this match was, if, um, Kara, I mean, if Madison Ra uh, Rain won, she would, uh, uh, keep, I mean, she would, uh, let Kara go out of her contract, and, um, so eventually, um, Kara, I mean, the, uh, the referee was knocked down, and Tara came into ring and was about um. So Madison Rain had her like um her loaded glove. So then she um gave it a Tara to punch to Mickey, but then it backfired on um Madison Rain and uh Tara hit her, which was like awesome because she's annoying. And the next match was one of my favorites out of uh the whole. Uh, all these matches. It was Kazarian versus Maxwell for the X Division, uh, X Division Championship. Man, that match was like, like awesome. It had so many good moves. Um, Maxwell did the 450 splash, and then um, Kazarian did like a freaking power bomb. If you guys saw that pay per view, that was awesome. Uh, like a, it's almost like a sunset, um, sun. Sunset uh, power bomb, uh, but it was on um, the the, uh, uh, the floor, and which was like, wow, that was it was like pretty good match. And then it was um, the next match was Crimson versus Abyss. Um, Crimson was uh, he was undefeated. 
he was putting up his uh his um like his streak on the line like the Undertaker and it's not like as big as Crimson. I mean it's not bigger as like the Undertaker but um it was not it was, there was no they were really those two guys were like amazing the huge guys a lot of like um Crimson is from Brooklyn somewhere or like a really good place he's like from um some 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 place in Brooklyn where where a lot of good uh, fighters came out of like Mike Tyson and all that and um Crimson eventually won the next um match was uh for the TNA Tag Team Championship it was Beer Money versus <coughs> uh, Matt Hardy and um, Chris Harris so uh, Team Storm his former partner Chris Harris they were they were the TNA division uh, tag team division for a long time, and then they broke up, and, um, they're having a big rival, rivalry, and so, but the tag team champion still won beer money, which was, like, a good match, and then, probably, this one was my, probably, favorite match out of all of them, it was Tommy Dreamer versus AJ Styles. So it was originally, I think the match was not it was just a regular match, but then it turned into a de no disqualification. That match was like <coughs> awesome. They had tables. They went through the whole impact zone. Um, it was they used uh, I think ladders. I don't know. They used cords, trash cans, everything. It was an awesome match. But event like AJ had the um like was beating the hell out of Tommy Dreamer, but um the experience Tommy Dreamer beat AJ Styles and he did his finisher through the table and um which was okay to me. Uh, it was a pretty good match. Next was the Jared versus Kurt Angle. He's gonna be, I think, training for the 2012 Olympics. And China, her mate, she's uh, ret returning to her, um, the ring. And it was a mixed tag team match. Um, basically, Kurt Angle and Jeff Jarrett kept on doing the whole match. They were fighting. I really wanted to see China beat the hell out of Karen Jar Jarrett. She's a slut, a whore. Um, but eventually. China did beat the hell out of her. Uh, Kurt Angle enjoyed it, and uh, Kurt Angle and China won. And then the um, TNA, uh, TNA Sacrifice main event was Rob Van Dam versus the Sting the Stinger. Uh, that match was pretty good. It was about 20, 20 minutes. I don't know how long. Um, it went all over the impact zone it was really really good um earl hovener the referee didn't he didn't count them out i like that referee he's pretty cool he was in the wwe before um but eventually rb i mean the stinger won or sting his name is uh which was pretty good uh i liked it and i am um, um and so um mr anderson or mr kennedy as you know in the wwe uh, he was doing, uh, like, he was commentating, and then, um, we found out, uh, for the, the main event for T, uh, for next month's pay-per-view for TNA, it's gonna be Mr. A um, Anderson versus Sting for the World Heavyweight Championship, and so, that's it, you two, uh, look forward to my, my, uh, over-the-limit, uh, review, uh, so, peace, YouTube, alright, see you next time.